So for this week's video, I thought it would be fun if I tweeted out to you guys and asked what you wanted to see. So I did some little Twitter polls and the winner ended up being a beauty life hacks video. But then I decided that I would do like testing beauty life hacks because the other option was just like testing life hacks in general. So I kind of combined the two ideas, but I thought it was really fun to have you guys like vote for what you wanted to see. So make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. I'll have the link down below. And that way you can kind of help choose what video goes up every week. I was actually surprised by like what life hacks worked and what didn't. So make sure you guys watch the video. Don't click out now. Watch the whole thing. Definitely watch the whole thing because I have this. If you don't know what this is, this is my subscription box that I made in the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys everything that is in here. But for now, let's go ahead and just get on into the life hacks. So the first life hack that we are gonna be testing out today is the boob contour. I'm pretty sure this is going to work, but I haven't ever tried it. To get the added effect, I put on a push-up bra. Okay, so I have my contour stick. So I'm gonna start by going around the edges. They already look bigger. This picture has the collarbones done too, and I literally cannot see mine. This thing is like probably too thick to be doing this. They also have it going up the neck, and there's a little right here. Oh, I think I was supposed to put that right here. All right, I got my highlighter now. This is actually really fun, but kind of a lot of work. There's some lines right here. So this is what it looks like before it's blended out. This side is definitely like not even and it's like the wrong shape. So I'm just gonna start blending this out. Okay, I'm starting to think this is not gonna work because I don't know how well this is gonna blend out. And I feel like it's gonna look really, really fake. It looks like this is about as blended as it's going to get. It looks pretty blended, except on my neck right here, I cannot get these like lines to go away. Does that look any different? I feel like it looks a little bit different. I would say this hack works, but I feel like I was kind of just like not careful about it. And so if you did it a little bit nicer, it would work better. But if you guys want bigger boobs, you don't need a boob job. You just need some contouring stuff and a push-up bra. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to try is the life hack where you take a straightener or a blow dryer, you twist your hair, go over it, and it turns into beach waves. Honestly, I'm like 100% sure this is not going to work. In a lot of the pictures you see, people just divide their hair into like two sections. So I got my straightener, I have my twisted section of hair. I seriously just like already know this is not gonna work, but I see it all the time on Pinterest, so I'm just gonna go over. You can't even really go over this twist. It's like untwisting as I go over it. Maybe I'll like clamp it like this. That literally did nothing to my hair. Let me try a smaller section. Still pretty sure this isn't really gonna do much, to be honest. It's literally doing nothing. I don't know why people say this works. It's not doing anything. Okay, this is a fail. Hack number two does not work. Next is the winged eyeliner. I'm really skeptical about this, especially because I picked out a big spoon instead of a little spoon. And I just, I just don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, this spoon is way too big for my eye and I still think the little spoon would be too big. I can't even see anything, kind of, because I have these giant eyelash extensions. Oh wait, that was kind of easy. Oh wait, is it working? That does not, okay, that doesn't look that bad, but it definitely is not like a magical hack. I'm not even gonna finish it off. I just wanted to see if it would make a good wing. It did not. It's like I'm doing surgery. Yeah, no, it's not working very well, but that definitely is really disappointing because I have been looking for a magical perfect eyeliner hack and this is not it. So next we're trying out the clown contour and I've seen videos all over Instagram of people doing like these crazy contours and it works for them. But all those people are like really good makeup artists. So we're gonna see how the average Joe does this. I don't have every single color in this picture that I'm gonna try and recreate, but I do have some similar stuff. So I'm just gonna make it work. I don't even know where to start with this. I guess I'll start with the under eye concealer. She has some like brown. All I have is this, it's a little bit orange and it's drawn in a triangle. Yeah, I don't think mine's gonna be as dramatic because my colors aren't as dramatic. I'm just drawing this on my face. Mm. This is gonna be so bad. I'm gonna have a beard over here. She also has a poop emoji on her forehead. I'm gonna skip that part. And then basically just like all over under her eyes is highlighted. 
So under the brow. Around by her mouth, she has purple. So that's the one color I don't have. I have this, it's kind of pink. It's like all over by her mustache. I'm not even lying. I was actually trying to make mine look like hers. I knew it wouldn't look exact, but this is just so much worse than I could have even imagined. I'm gonna start off with my brush and just start blending this. And I'm gonna blend out my mustache first. I feel like this is kind of actually working and it kind of looks really good. Do you think it looks good? You've got like a lot of makeup caked on. Yeah, it looks like I have a lot of makeup caked on. But it kind of looks kind of good. It does look good. If I practiced, I would say this was a success. I would definitely do this again. I totally see why people do this now because my face looks really nice and contoured. Oh, I didn't blend over here. You guys should definitely all try this and like tweet me a picture, see if it looks good because I'm really surprised and my skin looks nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me testing out life hacks. So now the exciting part of the video, unboxing my subscription box. So the first box is going out super soon. I'm gonna have it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. The main box is $15 and then this is the VIA box. So it's a little bit bigger and that one is $49. So I'm just gonna like show you guys what's inside. I haven't even like officially looked in this yet. So the first thing that I see in here is the Benefit Roller Lash, which is an amazing mascara and Benefit Cosmetics is just one of my favorite companies. So I was very excited to partner with them. We also have the Pixie Eye Crayon in Wide Awake. Also in the box are these invisible heels and these are cool. You basically just like put these in your shoes and they kind of make you a little bit taller. Also, I have this Makeup Geek Duo Chrome Eyeshadow in Mai Tai. I also have these flash tattoos. These are by Kitsch and I just love flash tattoos. I think they're super fun. So I put some in my box. I also have these NCLA nail wraps and these are so cool. You basically like don't have to paint your nails. You can just put these on. So I'm gonna have a link to their website down below. There's Yum Earth Sour Beans. Next we have the Wellada Skin Food Cream. So this is for if you have like really dry skin. I also have the Kitsch Bun Pin and this comes in the VIA box. So this is really cool. You can basically like Pretend I have a bun on top of my head. You just stick this in the front so it's like a little hair accessory. We also have this cute pink mixture candle. There's also some of these really cute straws. We have a bunch of these at my mom's house. I think they're so adorable. There's also a little banner that you can make yourself and some colorful string. There's also some little midi rings in here that are super cute. And there are some t-shirts or tank tops in the VIA box. There's also a little art print in here. So I put mine in a frame because I thought it was cuter that way. And then there's a little infinity charm so you guys can make like some friendship bracelets um, you can use the string that comes in here and there's little cards that comes with it that tells you everything that's inside And there's a little recipe card and then there's also a card with some of my favorite songs right now So I hope you guys are excited about the boxes again. This is the VIA box So it's kind of the more like fancy one I will have the link down below and you guys can check it out. I'm super excited about it So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you guys next week. Bye